So there's another quick video about a new option that's been added to the stems feature in the latest release of Virtual Data 2021. So if you look at my setup right now, I have the stems here on my EQ. So I have what's basically the Easy Remix setup. So vocal instruments and beat. And if I load a track, you can see it does the stem separation really fast because it's pre-computed with these icon illustrates. And if you don't know what pre-computed stems are, I made another video about that that you can watch if you want to. But uh, the thing is that now I have stem separation up here. Like that. And I also have it the vocals down here on the filter. And the vocals right here, but you get the picture. And if I select the stems over here, I also have the stem separation over here. So now I remove the beat, for instance. So that's all good and well. And uh, if I then uh, change them as part of playing my track and I load a new track, they stay disabled and the EQs for the stems stay the same. And you may not want that. So you can change what happens when you load the track. So if I go into options, let's put in reset, you have all these reset features. And let me just check reset EQ and load first. That's an old option, but we'll check that one first. So if I have enabled the reset EQ and I load a new track, it resets all the EQ. And because of that, it also resets the filter and it also resets the stems buttons down here. But then let's say that we actually have EQ up here. So we're changing it back to frequency. So now we have regular EQ. We change it a little bit just to show. Change the vocal stems and we disable the drums again like that. Now try again to load a new, new track. And now these reset, of course, because they, they are EQ, but these don't reset. So if you don't have the stems on the EQs, when you have reset EQ and load, the stems won't reset. So it, if you instead want the stems to always, always reset, you need the new feature or the new option, which is called reset stems unload. So let's enable that one instead and disable the EQ one. So now I still have the EQ up here. I've changed a little bit. I have a stem separation vocals down here. I have stem separation by disabled the kick and the hi-hat, the drums down here. And then I load a new track again, like this. And you see now only the stems got reset. So you can actually now divide that. So even though the stems are not on the EQ, uh, you can get them to reset on load and you don't have to have the EQs reset at the same time, which can be practical because you might choose to have the stems on a pad page and have regular EQ. So you want the EQ to match whatever is on your controller, but it, it's kind of hard. Maybe you move the, the, the pad page to hot cues while you DJ it. So it can be actually be kind of hard to see that maybe you disable the hi-hat in the stems. So you might want to keep the EQ on load, but disable or reset the stems on load. So then that would be a way to do that. So it's just a little bit uh, about the new option, the new reset stems on load option that's in the latest Visual D-Day 2021 release.